All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys aren't updated on what I'm doing, I am working on the 2JZ GE uh, motor that I got from an auto parts, um, like engine wholesaler here. Anywho, so I am at the point where I checked the compression. Well, I didn't check the compression, but I checked to see if the motor was gonna spin freely after I took the spark plugs out. They're all out there and it is spinning freely, which is a great sign. I'm getting a little bit of a rattling noise up here. So whenever I get all the, uh, you know, the timing covers off, um, I'll be able to see if there's anything caught up in there or see if anything's broken or bent or anything. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start removing these accessories so I can get just basically to the bare, the bare block of the motor. So I can get to just the head and, and just the bottom end of the motor. And eventually I'm gonna have to uh, take the transmission off but I've got to drain the fluids for the uh, trans and the oil um, from the motor itself. So let's go ahead and get started removing these accessories. All right, you guys, so I got a couple of the accessories off. See, power steering's gone, compressor's gone. And on this side, I still gotta take off the water pump. It looks like there's a couple, uh, it looks like it's a lot longer than I thought, but I guess we gotta take off those back there. So I gotta get this lower timing cover off. <sighs> Alternator's off. And this is the overall so far. So this thing's going, getting torn down pretty, Pretty simply, so here's my like pile of everything that I got. So I'm trying to keep everything as organized as possible. Um, obviously, if you're doing this, you definitely need to do that as well. But this is what we got. So it looks like I'm gonna have to take that, take the uh, crank pulley off, in order for me to get this timing cover off. I didn't realize that it goes all the way down to the bottom there, which is totally cool. So I will get to cranking at that. All right, keep it moving. All right, you guys, so I spent like 20 minutes trying to get this uh, crank pulley off without the tool. Looks like I'm gonna go to AutoZone and rent the tool. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop the oil out of the car. And I got a clean, I got a clean uh, bucket here. So I'm gonna catch the oil there and I'm gonna see what condition it's in. I'm curious myself, so. Let me grab a wrench, unscrew that, and get all the oil out. All right, there's the oil draining out of her. And honestly, it just looks old. It doesn't look bad. All you're seeing here is just bubbles. But, um... It doesn't look bad at all. And it seems like it was holding oil just fine, aside from the obvious oil leaks everywhere else. But that is a good sign. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish letting that drain and I'm not sure where I'm gonna go from here. We'll see. All right, you guys. So after, you guys didn't see it, but after probably four hours of fighting, this bolt finally got the crank hub off, got the pulley off, stoked on it. So, whew. all I gotta say is that thing is torqued to 200 plus foot pounds from the factory. It is super hard to get off. This is gonna be the shortest video I'm gonna do in this whole segment only because that took way too long. It's now getting dark outside and my back hurts. I feel like an old man. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, on the next video, I'm gonna be tearing down some more of this stuff. I'll get that lower timing cover off. I'm gonna probably go ahead and uh, remove the head. Um, obviously, after I remove the, the timing belt itself. First of all, I'm gonna remove timing belt. Then I'm gonna remove the cams. Then I'm gonna remove the head. 
see you guys on the next video. Peace. I forgot to show you guys that I absolutely destroyed this. Yeah, so I broke a bolt in there and then I had to find a way to get this off, which was super, super tricky, which also isn't that big of a deal because I was planning on replacing it anyway because this has that, that chip in it right there. So I was planning on ch changing the, uh, <clears throat> the 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 crankshaft pulley anyway so just wanted to show you guys that all right